This question asks us to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx. In case it helps, I'll start by giving you some examples of explicitly defined functions and some examples of implicitly defined functions and equations. You'll notice that in each explicit function, we have y on one side of the equation and a function of x on the other side. For each implicitly defined equation or function, we don't have y solved for by itself, and really there's not a good way to get y by itself on one side of the equation, so we call each of these implicit. Okay, so for our problem, we just want to take a derivative of both sides of this equation. We're taking a derivative with respect to x, so the derivative of a function of x just uses all of the rules we've used previously. So taking a derivative of x to the 1 half just uses the power rule, we get 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Taking the derivative of 3, that's just the derivative of a constant, that just gives us 0. But the derivative of y to the 1 half power with respect to x is a little bit more complicated. Because we have to keep in mind that we're assuming that y is some function of x in this problem. To clarify what I want to say here, maybe I can show you a different example. If we had a function 4x plus 5 raised to the 1 half power and we wanted to take a derivative of that, we learned in the chain rule section that we would start with our outermost function. That is something raised to the 1 half power. We could bring that 1 half power down, reduce that power by 1, but then the chain rule says that we would have to take the derivative of the inside function, the 4x plus 5, and we would have to multiply our previous answer by that derivative. Well, we actually have a very similar situation when we want to take the derivative of this function. We have some function raised to the 1 half power. So what we do is we bring that 1 half power down, we reduce the power on that y by 1, making the power a negative 1 half. But then keeping in mind that this y is a function of x, we don't know if it's 4x plus 5 like my previous example, but we know that y is some function of x. The chain rule then says that to complete this derivative, we need to multiply this result by the derivative of whatever that function is. Well, we don't know what that function is, we just call it y. So we're just going to take the derivative of y with respect to x. Again, we don't really know how to do that because we don't know what y is. So we just call this derivative of this function y with respect to x dy dx. Well, now now if we want to find dy dx, we can just isolate it algebraically. That means first subtracting 1 half x to the negative 1 half from both sides of the equation. The 1 halves cancel from either side. And finally, we can divide both sides of the equation by y to the negative 1 half power. That gives us dy dx by itself on one side of the equation, and on the other side we end up with negative x to the negative 1 half over y to the negative 1 half. Well, the form of this equation makes me feel a little bit sick because we have a numerator and a denominator and each has a negative exponent on it. So let's rewrite this a bit. Okay, that looks better. Now we have our derivative. And we were actually asked in the original equation to find the slope of the curve at the given point. So we're given a point x equals 4, y equals 1. So let's plug those in. We get that dy dx evaluated at the point 4, 1 is this right here, and recalling that a 1 half power is the same thing as a square root. We can take the square root of 1 in the numerator and just get 1. We can take the square root of 4 in the denominator and get 2. And we get a final answer that the slope of our tangent line of this relation up here at the point 4, 1 is negative 1 half. All right, I'll zoom out on that so you can see the whole thing. Let's do some more implicit differentiation in the next video. I'll see you there.